The wind and the pitch. Now one out to right. And it's gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one, his second of the year. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1 0. Singy, that's his 299th career homer. Yep, closing in on a pretty big career milestone. 300 will be extremely special. Well, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Here's Starling Marte. Big time power. 0 oh, 2 now. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Back there. That one is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number five on the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 2 0. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs. Plant High School. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Pete Alonso with a shot to the opposite field. That's career homer number 149. And they add on. It's five zip. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you. So they'd love another base hit right here. Now it's Andrelton Simmons. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. A shot to the opposite field, and they inch closer. It's 7-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, Fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach will hit for a high average as well. Here's Ramon Laureano. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. He circles the bases and they boost their lead. It's 8 3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. David Wright up now for the Mets. One for one with a single. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that ball is out of here. Third home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 9-3, and their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog, and right now for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here's Pete. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it.
An absolutely majestic shot. Third home run of the season, and they slice into the lead. It's 9-4. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. If you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd at StatCast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit him much farther than that move. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like that. And he really showed us something right there. One down and stepping in. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And out of here. His second of the year, and they cut into the deficit. It's 10-5. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Is and stepping in for New York, David Wright. The why to kick the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A solo shot, his second home run of the game. It's 11-5. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy. It's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. His second of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 11-6. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now the catcher comes up to him. Manny Pena, over, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Robinson Cano. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And out of here! He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 11 7. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of a bomb in his last at bat. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. And that is gone. A two-run homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 11-9. This crowd back alive. got the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. 
Two outs, nobody on. Manny Pena, the next to hit. Drill to center. That's way back. And you can't forget it. Home run. A towering home run. And they add a pair. It's 13-9. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. That one's on its way. No question about it, and that one will go. They go back to back, and they add to their lead. It's 14-9. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Well, Singy, you know I'm a member of the Nerd Herd, and these are the moments I really appreciate StatCast the most. We need to know how far that one flew. Well, I'll tell you, over 500 feet, Boog, and that's just insane. And I know we're seeing more and more power in today's game, but we just almost never see someone hit it that far. It's crazy, and this is not... That one blasted deep to right. And gone! That'll fire up the dugout, and they throw three on the board. It's 17 to nine. fastballs especially away are like putting a ball on a tee hitters do a lot of cage work they're comfortable hitting off the tees and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run at the play Ricky Henderson he's on the verge of Bradley on third with two out swings and crushes one right field way back and gone He'll circle the bases, his second home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 17 to 11. As we get a look at the numbers, StatCast tells us exactly what we were all thinking. This is one of the longest home runs we have ever seen. Yeah, that ended up just shy of 500 feet, which is just, it's absolutely crazy that you can have that kind of pop. And I got a feeling we're going to see this replay for a long, long time. Style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox? This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Out of here! Another one. Back-to-back -back homers, his first homer of the year, and they inch closer. It's 17 to 12. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap, man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Here's the left fielder, Odubel Herrera. Preparing to come on if needed. Trailed the left center way back there, and that is gone.
his fourth home run of the game and they tack on to their lead it's 18 to 12 and with the six run lead there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. And next for the Mets, Pete Alonso. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll touch them all. His first homer of the year, and they slice into the lead. It's 18 to 13. home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, yeah. David Robertson. And he's got a nice... Odubel Herrera, up next for the A's. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. home run of the season and they close the gap it's 18 to 15 with the low 90s fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Adam Adamino getting the call to the mound. Coming on for the save here and something. Slider, it's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone! His first homer of the year, and we have a tie ball game. It's 18 to 18. to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side as a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset and now Tony Kemp two on two outs oh and this one's blasted high and deep it's on its way out of here ball game he circles the bases, a walk-off win in the bottom of the ninth. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. In. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Out of here! With one swing, he quiets the crowd. His fourth home run of the season. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for all. The 1-1. One, one. 
swings and crushes one right field way back and gone. His first homer of the year, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 3-1. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. He's just too good of a hitter at the plate. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Now batting Robinson Cano, one of the stars in the win for one with a double and a run scored. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. was intended to stay inside but it leaked out over the middle of the plate hitter waited on it and he connected just perfectly here's the catcher for the Mets Mike Piazza one for one upped it at the plate the wind of the pitch here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it He circles the bases, home run number five on the season, and they cut into the deficit. It's 6-3. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not pulled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Jackie Bradley Jr. Swing and a ball hammered left field. This one's got a chance. And that ball is gone. His second of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 7-6. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing here come the pitch hammers that one deep left field and forget it He flexes his power with that swing, and we're level. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. I think that ball's out of here. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. And that one is gone. Francisco Lindor takes him deep, and that gives him a lead. It's 8-7. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. So up next for New York, Jerry Hairston Jr. The Mets, singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. 
Swings here and blasts one left field. And gone! His first homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 9-7. He put a really nice swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that so two away with nobody on Carlos Delgado now at the plate And that one is lifted in the air. And it's gone! Home run! That's got to feel good. His second of the year, it's 10-9. Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel. And boy, he just hammered that. Recognized the break. And man, this guy kept his front exact time. An excellent backspin to carry it over the fence. Loriano comes up to hit. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. His fourth home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 11-9. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. I'm in my zone. If you're a hater, then leave me alone. I gotta go. Get to the dough. When they call it so I think of the Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Carlos Carrasco gets the call from the pen. He's into the A's. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He made him pay for that one, his second of the year, and they add on. It's 12-9. Back-to-back -back -back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. The pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. So two down, next. That one's on its way. No question about it, and that one will go. A shot to left. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 13-9. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in the game. Just unbelievable at bats, and I'll tell you what. That hitting coach over there in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Jackie Bradley Jr. Upable of rallying from this kind of deficit. They're right at the top of the list. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. Pete Alonso takes him deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they cut into the lead. It's 13-10. Singy, that's his 150th career home run. Man, Boog, 150 trips around the bases. That's a lot. Congrats to him. I tell you what, that's a lot of trotting. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. Righty reliever out of the pen, Domingo Acevedo. He pitched yesterday. that one 
one deep left field and forget it. A two-run homer, third home run of the season, and they add a couple more. It's 15-10. Chris, he just tied Frank Robinson with 586 homers. And Frank Robinson was such a great player, in some ways underrated, but those in the sport know how special this is. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Drew Smith. And with the big... Right-handed reliever. That one ripped. That's back there. And it's gone. A towering shot to right. His second home run of the game. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 17-10. to 10. an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and he got crushed to right and that one's gonna lead the park out of here home run so he blasts one out the other way, and they close the gap. It's 17 to 11. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. So digging in, David Wright. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. So he leaves the yard to left, and they're chipping away. It's 17 to 12. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. <laughs> Two outs, nobody on. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso, is up to the plate. And a pitch. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Francisco Lindor sends it out. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they slice into the lead. It's 17 to 13. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. And next for the Mets, Jerry Hairston Jr. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one's carrying. And it's out of here. Pete Alonso with a shot to the opposite field. Home run number five on the season. It's 17 to 14. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Francisco Lindor.
The why the kick the pitch. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. Seth Brown goes deep, his second of the year, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 2-1. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Housen runs batted in in his career. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Left field way back there. That's back. And that ball is out of here. A shot to the opposite field. His first homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 3-1. Fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. It's a big power threat. Starling Marte. That's hard hit on the line. Here. The big blow to the home fans. Home run number five on the season. It's 5 3. to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing Ricky Henderson this one blasted deep to left way out of here home run His seventh home run of the season, and they inch closer. It's 5-4. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. That slider on the outside part of the plate is typically hit the other way, but to be able to get to it, pull the baseball, and get it up in the air for a home run, I'm just really impressed. <laughs> One down. Seth Brown up next for the A's. Whenever he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Hammers that one. Deep left field and forget it. He'll touch them all. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's six five. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So two away with nobody on. Digging in for Oakland. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers. And this game is tied. It's 6-6. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Back to back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. 
This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And here's the first. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He circles the bases. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 7 6. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. At Singy, it tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. In the air right field. Game. That'll fire up the dugout, and the A's walk it off for the win. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. That one ripped right center field. And forget it! His second of the year, and the A's jump in front. It's 1-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, you waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Now it's the DH, Jason Giambi. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one back. And it's gone. They go back to back and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. And this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Justin up to play. One of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And gone. His ninth homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 3 0. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Now batting Robinson Cano. Entered the game as a pinch hit. Stroman's career, Chris. He was the MVP of the 2017 World Baseball Classic. Team USA won gold. He took a no Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. They do it again. Back-to-back -back homers. Third home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 4-0.
That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in the game. Just unbelievable at bats, and I tell you what, that hitting coach over there in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Mark McGuire. World Series. He's the 14th player ever to play in both the Little League World Series and the Major League World Series. There's a swing and a drive. And that ball is gone. Cody Bellinger blasts one out. His second of the year, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 4-1. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Two outs, bases empty. So up now for Chicago, Ian Happ. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Gone. Ian Happ bops one out of here. Third home run of the season, and they close the gap. It's 4-2. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the Swung on, belted. That's back there. And out of here. Patrick Wisdom leaves the yard, and they cut into the deficit. It's 4-3. is empty with two away. Trey Mancini. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. His fourth home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 5-3. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Angelton Simmons, the next to hit. Defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. That one felt good. His first homer of the year, it's 7-3. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate.
Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. That's back singles. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one's gone. Dansby Swanson hits one out. And they tack on three. It's 7-6. Went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here's the third baseman, Seiya Suzuki. That's right, for Ray Mancini, the famous boxer. It stuck when he started hitting home runs, though, in baseball. That one ripped. Out of here. Trey Mancini blasts one out the opposite way. His first homer of the year, it's 7-7. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now, for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. Number 38 into the game. And he's had his struggles so far this year. And here it comes. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And that gives him a lead. It's 8-7. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Singing, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball bat. Far, and it's absolutely crazy. It's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Justin. Tin. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A towering home run, and they add to their lead. It's 9 7, and that's his fifth straight game leaving the yard. And Boog, if he goes a game or two without hitting a home run, he's going to feel like he's going to get sit down to the minor leagues. If you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd at StatCast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit him much farther than that, boo. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like that. And he really showed us something right there. Now it's Chase Peterson. Grounded out his first time. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. A two-run homer, his first homer of the year. It's 9-9. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Now it'll be the driving one off the wall. Bellinger up to hit. Swung on, belted. Deep left field. That one on its way. Cody Bellinger crushes it the opposite way. And they add on. It's 13-9. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch. And I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. <laughs> oh, 
always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. New pitcher on now, Trevor May. He's being eased into the game. He Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Tyler O'Neill sends it out. And they tack on to their lead. It's 14 10. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. So one out, nobody on. Now at the plate, 